When we think about ballet, maybe the first thing that comes to our mind is not sacrifice, hard work, passion or endless hours of work. Ballet gives you an effortless illusion. It sends you to a fairy tale land and tells your story, so you as an audience can relax and enjoy what you're watching. Ballet is an art form that is meant to make you feel, entertain, laugh, cry, suffer for the characters, but never lets you see the effort behind. But all of this is just an act. Behind a one hour and a half show is a lifetime of work, sacrifice and daily pain. This time I will not be the one telling you the full story, but I brought you a guest to the channel that will speak to us about what it takes to be a ballet dancer and his personal experiences as a student and as a professional. Giordano Bozza is an Italian dancer with the Greek National Opera in Athens. He has danced in Germany, Italy, Czech Republic and Greece. He has participated in many gala performances around Europe and has been nominated for the Best Male Dancer in Czech Republic in the year 2016. I am more than grateful that he could come to this channel and talk to us about what it takes to be a ballet dancer and his personal experiences. Ballet means for me everything. It's the only Right now, it's the only thing I have in my life. <laughs> right now, yes. In this moment, what do we have today? 13th of, of June, at this time, yes. It can be very sad, what I say, but yes. Uh, it's the only thing I hang on, on it. So I believe that to become a ballet dancer, not just a ballet dancer, but to become a dancer, to approach this art. You, you have to be humble with yourself and you have to be hard on yourself and respect this art 100% because the only way that you can pass through this, uh, this street, this, uh, this, this art, is the moment that you start to give. When you give to this art, this art will give you back. Mm -hmm. and the people who are giving, giving, giving are those people that I'm looking up to and say like, okay, that's for me a dancer, not only ballet, in modern world, contemporary, those who share their love, the love for this, uh, for this art. So be humble, be passionate, sacrifice yourself and give, give a lot so that you can get back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. There is the physical part. Uh, ballet is unfair. Ballet is beauty. We have to accept this. So, and we have stereotypes. Mm -hmm. We have to also accept this. We live in a world of stereotypes. So, we have to be beauty. You like or you don't like. On stage, you have to be beauty for ballet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you have to go over that. You have to go over that. You have to focus on yourself and just keep going, you, are, you have to be a train. It's like, you have to be like a train. Don't look right, left, look straight, do it, and you will see that all the problem that you think you have is actually, you are putting those problems in front of you, not the people or director or what the ballet world think. I think there are not good dancer or bad dancer. Okay. Everyone is a dancer. In the moment he's on stage, and dance is a dancer, so good dancer, bad dancer, it's a personal um, decision, it's a personal, uh, how you say, back, feedback, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I like this dancer, I don't like this dancer, but doesn't mean that if you don't like this dancer, he's no good. Mm -hmm. As me, I say sometimes, this dancer is very good, but I don't like. Mm -hmm. And also we have to accept this, you can't be liked from everyone, yeah. and maybe not because you are not good, just because you don't like. Sometimes we get mad with the directors and we say, oh, uh, the director don't take me because he don't like me, I'm not good, or maybe he just don't like your color. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just want to have green instead of blue, you know? But once we are on stage, we are dancer and you can't change the way you are. And you can't change the mind of the person in front of you. You can change the feeling that this person have it in that moment. If we then need to speak about technique, it's another story. We also have to accept 
the cruel reality that technique, technique is technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you do it or you don't do it. Like, you do pirouette, you do pirouette. You do tourelle, you do tourelle. You do fete, you have to do fete. How? It's written in the book. Mm -hmm. Then it's your work and this it's not a, a personal feedback. It's yes, he can do, no, he cannot do. So this. I didn't find big challenge, like obstacle that say to me, uh, oh my God, what I'm doing, I wanna go back home. Actually, I think, and I say to everyone, that for me, it's very, very, very good for a, a dancer, a young dancer, to go out of the box, to go out from the family and start to build himself. Because the way how you are, you start to build yourself, after it will reflect on your work and it will reflect on stage. Even if I was 13, I was saying to myself, like, oh, can you do that? Can you not do that? Is it too risky? Is it not risky? And I had to take decision. So, very young decision. But I think that it made me responsible. And because of that, I think that it's, I'm responsible also in my work. Like, it, yeah, it, it helped me. I think we all should try to dance how we feel. Like, what I mean how we feel, not what you feel in that moment, but how you feel you, yourself in that day, in that week. You feel sad, so feel with this, dance with this feeling of sadness. Mm -hmm. You feel angry, dance with this feeling of angriness or happy, you know. I think then, then you will start to see the dancing in another way. Mm -hmm. Because this moment of my life, I'm not very happy. So, and when I go in the studio, I go and I dance with this unhappy feeling. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean I'm not doing things like uh, jumping or because it's, you see jump is like happiness. Mm -hmm. No, like I'm trying to, to dance with this to have a dance with this feeling. Mm -hmm. And people, instead of dancing to try to get the feeling of what you're doing, they, sh they should try to dance with the feeling they have. <laughs> to my younger self, I would say, don't do the palette. <laughs> no, no, don't put this. <laughs> <laughs> no. But to my younger self, uh, that's hard. To my younger self, what I would say? Maybe I would say that what, what I'm trying to do now, what I'm trying to do now is I want something, I ask, I go and say, look, I wanna, can I do this, this and this? Mm -hmm. Without putting something between, without the, they have this barrier of being afraid, mm -hmm. okay? I, because we don't lose anything, okay? So maybe sometimes you are young and you are coming from school and you're like, I don't know, to this company, it's too big company, I'm not ready or... I'm not saying to be nose up or to be like, oh, I can go everywhere, but to don't be afraid to, to ask, to try, because what you can get back, it's just no, maybe no, you cannot, or no, we are not looking for you, or, you know. And uh, maybe I would uh, say to my younger self to be a bit more this way, because mm -hmm. When I was looking for the job, I was like, oh, I'm not sending in the, there, 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 or there, because, pff, come on, I'm just finished. I'm mean, not even finished the school, because I left before finished the school, because I didn't want to finish. And, uh, but yeah, to have this for me and for the young generation. But for the young generation, also, I would, I would suggest them to respect this what we are doing, because everything now it became a competition. Everything now became uh, like I use a social a lot, okay. But ballet is not made for the studio. Ballet is not made for the internet. Ballet is not made to be showed as one piece, one piece, or two minutes or one minutes. Ballet is made for stage. Ballet is made for people. Dance is made for people. So. To, to think, to dance with this feeling, to, sh to, to share with the people, mm -hmm. yeah? And to work hard. Yes. 
because the work is the only way that you, we can show our, our final paint, paint, I would say. I hope you can take away from this video the importance of a great mentality and passion for this art in order to make it as a professional. Talent will bring you far, but the right mentality and work ethic will make you become the best dancer you can be. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.